So we get a free breakfast, but honestly, I'm in the mood for a waffle. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Second day in Belgium, I'm hitting it strong, going to Bruges, and then possibly Ghent. I was told by some people that the move might just be stay in Bruges all day. So we'll see how we feel. We got off to a late start, what's new? So we may or may not have time for a Belgian waffle today. I'd be really sad if I didn't. A waffle a day keeps the doctor away. That should be their saying here. Hostel living honestly isn't that bad after you get used to all the snoring. I'm not gonna name names, but someone who may or may not be my roommate was snoring last night. Speaking of which, Saad, how'd you sleep last night? I slept really well. That, that's great, man, because I, I definitely did not. Also, Look, we twinning, bro. Yo, we twinning. We repping. We repping. We're gonna get a cute Instagram picture. As I said earlier, we have to book it. Time might be relative, but the train is at 9.50. We made it to the station, so maybe we do have time for a waffle. I learned yesterday that I ate my Belgian waffle totally wrong. The only a tourist would eat a Belgian waffle with strawberries, whipped cream, and chocolate on it. And I don't want to be a tourist, man. I just want my original OG waffle now so I can be part of the Belgian culture. There's also two different types of waffles, which I had no clue. There's a liege waffle, which is a more dense waffle, and it's caramelized, which is the one I had yesterday, versus the Belgian waffle, which is more fluffier. Found a waffle stand. Not as good, but still a good waffle. Goodbye, Russell. See you soon. So we made it to Bruges, or Brugge, if that's how you want to say it. I don't know, you do you. Train station is like 20 minutes away from the city central, so we're gonna be walking. On our way to city central, we're gonna stop at another church because churches are everywhere in Europe. So Bruges is the capital of the province of West Flanders here in Belgium. Historically, a very big port city. As I can tell from just walking throughout the streets, it's got that old timey feel to it. It's almost like it was preserved in history. To get into the museum, you have to throw your backpack on your front. I look absolutely ridiculous. Now that we're leaving, it's time to put this backpack on normally. It's kind of sad though, I was getting used to it. So many paintings inside churches, it's almost like a museum. But now we are headed towards city central. I really don't understand. Even the Pizza Hut looks old. We still haven't made it to the town center yet, but we decided to take a detour and go on a canal tour. I'm on a boat. Captain. Just finished with the canal tour and honestly I can see how they call this the Venice of the North. The canals are very reminiscent of that. It's like two o'clock and we barely explored any of the city so we're gonna stay here and tour it instead of going to Ghent. I feel bad because we don't get to see more Belgium but at the end of the day it's definitely worth seeing everything we can here. This is the town square. It's pretty bougie I'd say. We are currently in the city market right now. As you can see, there's the Bell Froy right there, Bell Tower, which is a symbol of liberty. This is where they traditionally had a lot of market areas and a lot of stalls up. It's pretty packed. It's the most packed I've seen Bruges so far. So apparently you can climb up the Bell Tower and that's what we're gonna do now. It's 366 steps all the way up. So it's uh, gonna be a little bit of walking. I ain't afraid of no steps though. Unfortunately, other people have the same idea. It's a shame, man. Why can't we be the only tourists here? One step down, 365 to go. We're definitely getting higher. I'd say we're about halfway there. Now it looks like we're halfway. I'm getting exhausted just climbing this. apparatus. So, since you're a mechanical engineer, can you explain me how that works? I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> we're here. Wow. This is definitely a nice view. It was worth it, I think. Definitely worth the climb. You can see the whole city of Bruges. You can see pretty much everything that we've been to. Times like this for you, just to sit back and take it all in. It's 
little slice of life thing. I guess it's time to head back down. <laughs> it's definitely scarier on the way down. Okay, so last stop of the day is we're going to a couple of windmills on the outskirts of town. Fully functional windmills, by the way. This looks like an authentic old school style windmill. Apparently these windmills were used for grain production, not energy power. I think I can climb this thing too. Climb me up. All right, I made it up here. I see soft down there. I'm gonna think I'm gonna head back to train station now. I think I'm gonna call it for the vlog tonight. I think we did it. We did Bruges. So I will see you tomorrow for one last day in Belgium. Take care. Okay, so this is gonna be tough getting back down. <laughs>